All right, Gregory, thanks for joining us today, and please kick us off. All righty. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, gentlemen and ladies. Welcome to our presentation. My name is Gregory Schmidt, top leader with the Now Lifestyle System broadcasting from Seattle. Our host today is Mr. Eric Kirsten. He's somewhere south of Seattle. Whereabouts, Eric? Well, Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, awesome. We have people around the globe in our opportunity. We have a very simple opportunity. Now Lifestyle is a fitness and wellness opportunity. We have an ease of entry program, very simple program, a done for you business, a business in a box. And that is the pipe, ladies and gentlemen. It is all done, figured out for you. We have a very simple one, two, three step process for you to get started today. We're doing a question and answer. And we're gonna have a little bit of fun with it. You know, if you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. So uh, uh, I'm, I'm very excited that Eric has stepped up uh, to be a leader and to drive uh, uh, having, um, what, pardon me, having weekend meetings. Eric is doing very well with the program. He literally has hundreds of people in his downline and we are just starting. Nobody knows about us. The leverage is amazing. Well, that was a heck of a mouthful of compliments there. I'm not sure I'm worthy, but I'm definitely having fun. And that was when it started to change. So if there's anything that, uh, you know, I, I suppose we all explore these different online opportunities. And when I found that lifestyle, it, again, was to leverage these marketing tools that our wonderful CEO, Joel Therian, created. And, and I fell into that lifestyle after meeting Gregory. So I was purely leveraging these tools to grow a list and to try to learn how to market online. Um, and that's when the whole all in educational platform behind that lifestyle sold me. Um, and it's, you know, it's been that education that actually has opened the doors and, and helped me actually build that list and, and help me manifest and turn it into a little bit of, you know, monetary support in life because we all work. I imagine we all are still working. I know I do. And that's one of the reasons why I am active only on the weekends. It is just hard to get away from life. And this is truly becoming a benefit that you just can't shut the door to anymore. I mean, once it starts growing, it's, it's the same thing to just keep feeding it. And I am finding that Pretty intriguing. You know, trying to trying to find the right message and the right way to communicate people is actually a puzzle I enjoy, and it, I hope you do too. Excellent. Yeah, you know, one thing that is amazing, folks, is is that you know uh, we can set up to be a global home based business. We can do this spare time, full time, part time, when you have time. The important factor is do it. You want to be active. You want to be involved every day. You need to do something every day. You need to take action every day. And by taking action every day, you can leverage your time. You can build a group. You can sell product. You can expose uh, now lifestyle to uh, many more people. You know, I've been doing this essentially spare time. Okay, I am not full time. I've been doing this essentially spare time leveraging our tools, leveraging the internet, leveraging our capture pages, you know, all the systems that Joel and his, wow, over 100 employees has available to him to create dynamic tools to make our job simple, to make it easy, to represent something that is good for you, something that can help people, something that can help them both physically, with their nutrition, their fitness, as well as financially. It is all available to you folks. It's this issue of you see it, you catch it, and you take action. It's, it's that simple. Do you take action? Cool. So with that being said, uh, we have, let's say, there's five of us online currently. Um, we do have a number of resources also available to the team, which is a uh, fitness entrepreneurship and a team website called fitnessentrepreneurship.org on the training page that you see in front of you. Um, 
essentially there is a, a login, a generic login at the top, and then there's a, a series of videos, a very simple page, but you know, we continually add new content to it. Uh, this is a, a free resource available to everyone on the team. You can log in uh, to the website, just go to the website. It's not a membership site. There's no fee involved. It's a free page I put together. It has a variety of videos, fun stuff, how to set your capture page, the, the vision that Joel has, you know, just a variety of trainings. I'll be adding more workouts. I'll actually be adding pages that have captions because I know there are people uh, um, that have requested captions available. You know, a variety of resources, just extra stuff for you to take a look at uh, to help out in your marketing. You, you might come across someone who has a particular question or has a particular hang up. You can certainly go to our uh, pages. There may be a video available that addresses that particular situation for you and you have it handy to use. It's just another resource available. Um, and again, you know, it's just fun. It's not really anything overly technical. Uh, our system is highly refined. It is so easy compared to when we started in pre-launch. What we have available now is, wow, night and day. One, two, three step process. It's been neat watching it grow, that's for sure. For sure, for sure. So any questions that come to mind? I know uh, Brian's been involved moving. Any questions, any observations recently? Or Don Lynn, any questions, ob observations recently? Good right now. As of right now, I'm good. Awesome. Well, I, I know you're kind of focused on Heading to Texas. I know, I know a lot of people are excited for that. We'll have a good time. Uh, by the way, the schedule is, I did make a post to the uh, team page for the schedule for the event. There will be a number of new products released. Uh, a lot of the um, convention will be about product, product development, and recognition. There's not going to be a whole lot of stuff about training there. It's more recognition, um, achievement, and uh, uh, team team growth, team growing. It is really exciting. We'll have a lot of fun there just around the corner, less than a month now. I'm looking forward to getting there. Excellent, Brian. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be good, to, a pleasure to meet you the first time. Um, and again, you know, that's one unique thing about our business is with the power of the internet, you can connect with people around the world um, we have people flying in from a, across the globe, you know, France, the United Kingdom, Switzerland, Philippines, all over the planet coming in to uh, meet at the corporate uh, first ever convention. It'll be very exciting for everyone involved. So, Brian, you know, I've, I've been seeing you around the NLS pages for a while. And I, I think you're up there in the old seniority category from tenure. So you got any best practices you could share with us wonderful people? Hey, only thing I can tell you is follow up, follow up, and improve your follow up. Right. What I'm trying to do now. I was lacking, not following up effectively. And so my goal now is to improve my follow up. Me too. That's my biggest. Yeah. Yeah. I, I find it fascinating, actually. I'll, I'll be totally transparent. You know, when you get all these leads and these people that are, are looking for information, you know, if you're not in the right mood or the right frame of mind, it's, it's easy to, to think, you know, I'll do it later. But the urgency to the timing and responsiveness, I, I have found that it is only a matter of making voice-to-voice -voice communications with anybody for them to open up and recognize that we are here to coach, mentor, and support. And that has been, you know, I mean, now it gets to the point where it's just, I actually make the calls and cheer me up. <laughs> so it, it's, it's getting, it'd be a lot of fun, but it really is, if you're not talking to them, probably not in keeping. Well, I will tell you this, what I had to do so that I could do my email follow-ups, I had to make it interesting to myself. So you may have seen me posting something that say like a now lifestyle um, Friday inspirational or a Monday motivational or a uh, humor Tuesday Thursday. But those are the emails that I'm sending out. 
And then I decide to start posting. The one that I don't post is I do a tax tip Tuesday, and I'll probably start posting those too. So I have one for every day now except for Saturday. I don't, I don't have one for Saturday yet because my next goal is to get into more uh, video, which I probably was my goal to start once I got moved, but I'll be honest with you, I got sick. I was sick for about a month, you know, maybe a little longer. And be honest with you, I would even be on this call. I got some medicine, medicine that they're giving me. That's because I got this stomach issue. I don't know what it is. I for days I couldn't eat or drink. And so right now I'm holding back on taking my um, protein, and that's why I haven't done my unboxing yet. Uh, um, I got the box, and my daughter keeps saying she wants to be there when I do the unboxing because she's I want to be in the video with you. Every time she goes, you have an unboxing yet, then I say, I know, because when I unbox it, okay, I want to be in the right frame. Right now, I'm not, I can't really take the products. I got a brand new box of product. I do have some that's not in the box. So don't get me wrong. That's not like I don't, I'm totally out. But I don't want to unbox it until after I finish talking to the doctors and stuff. But um, once I get back in the full swing, and I've actually not been able to, to do my exercises, and I was dragging. So now I do, I'm started doing exercise, what I call exercise light. So I do a light version. And um, I'll continue that until I know more about what's going on. But I love my lifestyle. And these new VIPs, I think it's just phenomenal. I would have to agree, and I'll tell you what. I'm looking forward to the emails. <laughs> I like tax tips. All right. But I've, you know, I've, one of the things I did notice, my open rates have gone up. It started off kind of low because especially when I, a lot of people I didn't email at first. Now, when I bring in new people, they tend to open my emails more than the ones that I didn't email to when I first started. Hmm. And so it's going up, but I'm just trying to remain consistent now. Do you, do you think that's related to uh, the timing of the, the initial response too? Uh, it's probably related to the timing and also I think that when they haven't heard from you in a long time, they kind of disregard emails they might see from them. When you're new and it's fresh, they tend to open and then if they like it, then they continue to open. So, so Joel Therrien's trying to show us this every day. Yeah, because, you know, I, it's not like I didn't know, but sometimes, you know, you've got a lot of other things on your plate. And then I said, well, how am I going to do this? Because I know a lot of people, they say they can just email and say this and that, but I said that's boring to me. So I had to come up with something to make it fun. So I created a little graphic. Send the email with a mess, an inspirational message, and now I'm doing that on a very consistent basis. Every now and then I might miss it, but I can't help it, but it's very consistent now. Great advice. I definitely needed to adhere to that starting months ago. I, I, tend, to, I tend to be very forward with the business opportunity, and you know what? That's really not what people want. They're looking for help and support and coaching and what's available to me as an option and get it to me slowly until I'm ready to take off, right? Correct. <laughs> Excellent. You know, a neat feature uh, about our uh, broadcasting system is that you can schedule in advance. And, and I've also noticed that that is available to us on Facebook as well. Uh, not when you share, but when you create a, a um, a post you can schedule it so um, one thing I've been uh, practicing so like I've been very consistent for last month I broadcasted every day for the last 30 31 days and so I've been you know looking at the open rates on some of my older emails looking at changing up the subject lines and then um, scheduling that for an early morning broadcast uh, but you can use the scheduler 
and you can set that in advance right there it says send later you can pop that open look at the calendar you can set things in advance you can set the time and uh, once you do set that uh, it does give you the opportunity to continue editing just to make sure everything is set the way you like it and then you, once you add to the queue it is set in the system so that's a really excellent tool to have available to us yeah i like that tool i use it when i can perfect perfect have you had a chance to try that eric inside the, the messenger absolutely our broadcaster and, and yeah i use this scheduler right here all the time yeah every day uh -huh. Um, it gets busy on Sundays, you know, and, and if I do it right, those are the ones that go out during the week. Um, but yeah, I definitely got to leverage this, got to leverage these tools. Excellent. Yeah, I would say one of the top best practices would be able to, uh, when you have a block of time in your schedule, you know, write a few emails in advance yes. and schedule them. So that, you know, you, you take the pressure off, you know, because sometimes uh, you may not have the time available or you don't feel creative or you have a mental block, a writing block, what have you. But if you're able to, you know, create uh, several at a time and then schedule them, it does give you the added flexibility. You don't have that, that uh, pressure placed upon yourself. Uh, but yet at the same time, you can still be very consistent and get your message out to your list. I would also suggest too, you know, I mean, everything that Joel does and everything that we otherwise see in marketing and propaganda from, from NLS is our rights too. So copy and editing, I, I for a long time, you know, felt like everything needed to be my own little message. But cutting and pasting from these things and using the ad copy that we're given, you'd be surprised how many messages you can come up with in a very short period of time to feed, you know, the machine, so to speak. Excellent. Yeah, I, I do the very same thing, you know, in, in particular with the subject lines, I, I've been starting to do that just because, you know, like uh, uh, Mike Potvin, our director of marketing, you know, he, he says that he, uh, when he's in like the grocery store or what have you, and he sees the magazine, he'll take a picture of the magazine, uh, he'll take a picture of the heading in particular, because, uh, you know, a lot of research goes into those headlines, they have to be brief and concise as well as create attention. And so by uh, utilizing other people's work as either a spark or, or uh, insight uh, for marketing, you can certainly put that to work for you. I am trying to figure out how to incorporate this in every message I say. I, I don't know what I did except for this title. That's it. That's it. So I think subject matter has a lot to do with it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For, so, for example, I, I have one very similar. I said, uh, can you burn fat? Because for some reason, the, the system dropped off the rest of my subject line. And that's the only part that went out. So, I don't know what happened, but that was the only part that was broadcast. That had to it was like over the place. So, yeah, once in a while, you'll get a surprise in the system. Uh, and it's all good, but yeah, you know, um, it's part art, it's part science in regards to broadcast and email marketing. But as long as you're consistent over the long time, a long term, you know, people will recognize that. I've had people sign up with me who've been reading my stuff for over a year. And I, I am no guru, I'm no master of email writing or list building. I started with Now Lifestyle, I had zero list. 99% uh, of the people who are with us in my team, I did not know them beforehand. They were not on a list with me beforehand. It's all new stuff. So it is uh, an open opportunity for anyone who wants to go to work, be consistent. You can certainly find like-minded individuals to join your team and go to the, go to the marketplace and have fun. Yeah, I was also going, I don't know if you guys can hear me, my mic changed. You're, you're a little bit low, Brian, a little bit low on the volume. Okay, for some reason my mic switched up. Let me see. Well, I think we're, 
you know, we definitely should probably spend a couple seconds making sure. I know Charlene's on here, and I know Jamie's here too. So I think it's worthwhile to spend a few minutes making sure people understand the value behind some of the products that are in the background of now lifestyle. I mean, let's start with Sensharp. We have, a, we have a price point on an autoresponder capable of housing 50,000 email contacts. Uh, the, the price of such capacity and capability in any other program available to people is 4 to 10x the price of what we get for $50. So I guess one reason for saying that is I'd love to hear, you know, if anybody's having a, a, a good ad copy or a good chart, I, I just find that I'm not, I don't feel I'm getting the visibility to SendShark that I would otherwise expect just purely on value alone. And I, you know, I'm not sure if people are having that issue either, but if somebody is seen otherwise or has a good piece of sharing ad copy that is working, I would love to try it because I just can't get over the value that we have at our fingertips and it's something that we need to share with the world. It'll be nice when I learn how to use it. <laughs> Well, we definitely can help with that, Gary. <laughs> right. Most of it's going to be taking action and probably making a few mistakes, which aren't going to hurt you any, but getting involved, awesome. taking action, and just starting to follow the process, and you will definitely learn how to use that stuff real fast. Well, I pretty much dropped the ball on my first one. A uh, batch of leads. And, and, and uh, can you mind elaborating on why you, you feel that way? Because I didn't do any follow up after what the autoresponder did. Okay. And are you, you know where to go to see if your follow up messages and sequences actually went out and if they were opened or not? No, uh, you kind of broke up. I'm not sure that I do know where to go. Let me, uh, I'm on my phone now, but let me go ahead and get online. Mm -hmm. Or if you can ask, can anybody hear me better now? Oh yeah, much better, Brian. Okay, I switched to my Blue Yeti mic. That's a lot better. Yeah. Hello, Charlene. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Listen in. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. I'm a little late, but I'm here. Right. Showing up is half the battle. <laughs> right. So, if you can see this, Gary, I mean, I, this is essentially there's there's two sides. So we have an in, the lead capture system is essentially an autoresponder built in. It's tailored to our now lifestyle business. It is essentially the same thing that is available to you is an autoresponder. The autoresponder is a standalone email system to let you do whatever you do. Um, to also support this. But that's From the standpoint of me asking you the question as to how you know how well your follow-up went, I want to make sure that you do realize that your messages are here to be reviewed. So, and you'll see over here you know, who's actually opened them or how many have opened them. And if you see that activity, you'll know that your day sequences are scheduled properly. You'll know that your, your messages are going out one after the other. Um, and that's what I'd like you to take a look at. So, because you probably followed up. If, if you, if, what is that standard sequence that comes built in now, Gregory? Is it about a week's worth, four messages? Uh, depends on the campaign. For amazing, it's like, five to seven for the Facebook leads, it may only be one or two. Uh, and it does vary a little bit. So that's why I do suggest that, you know, uh, either you go out and email directly to your new people and or do a daily broadcast. That way you are assured that you are reaching out to your people, reaching out to the people on your list, showing that you're available and providing ways that people can reach out and contact you so you can build that rapport and uh, get to business. Does that area look familiar to you, Jerry? Is it? Well, I'm still trying to get to it. I'm on a 
lifestyle.com sign up today. Okay. And I don't see a tool to go to. But it's asking me to do the nine ninety five or nine ninety nine eighteen hundred and forty seven dollar value. Sounds then good. underneath it's got my health and wellness, business automation and autoresponder and reseller program. And basically it's just telling you what all's in each one of them. Okay. Well, perhaps, uh, Eric, if you could uh, back out to uh, the business button, and then Jerry, if you could just pay attention and watch the screen, Eric can surf to the lead capture system from the beginning, and then show you an example of a uh, ad campaign and scroll through your emails. Just you know, give you a heads up, and then he can uh, you can follow along and have a, a, a broader idea of what's going on there. Okay, I, my problem was it was on a, it was on the sign up page. So now I can go to my login. And then I can go to my lifestyle product suite. Is that right? You, you send, I would go to the reseller tools. Okay. And then, and just and just to highlight what's here on your reseller tool page, th these are the weekly webinars. That you know, okay. if you're not sharing these on on a regular regimen to your through a broadcast or to your pool of, of, of potential leads, we're missing out. These okay. these are hugely valuable. They are extremely informative and they definitely represent the business if, you know all week long and these are the kinds of things you tie people into and it's also good content for your emails if you're wondering what to say so that's but that was that's our live call schedule so now on the left you've got your your main menu and you're looking to go to your lead capture system And what you initially come to is a dashboard which shows all the campaigns that are available, and, and you'll start to see how those campaigns interact with which leads. It just requires a little bit more paying attention to the, the details of the links that you're researching and you're getting ready to share. Okay, and uh, Eric, if I may interrupt for a second. Uh, uh, Jerry, would you want to make sure you also did set up your lead capture system? Uh, Eric, would you if you had you know, click on the big red button, for example, if you don't mind, Eric. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, the first step for everyone when you get involved is to fill in your lead capture system. And it is highly refined, a simple process nowadays where when you're starting your lead capture system, you want to fill in the field boxes, just your name, reply email, cell phone number, and, and all the information. And that will pre-populate into the campaigns when they fire off the automatic emails to your prospects, to your leads. So, you know, just double check. We want to make sure that you have that set up, Jerry. I have everything set up, but the Facebook profile. Ooh, awesome. that's an important one. Yeah, yeah. Please do, uh, you know, if you don't have one yeah, of yeah, definitely go ahead and jump on that and fill that up. Because, you know, people, there's like one point to 1.3 billion people on Facebook. Most people are on Facebook, and it's a very easy way for people to reach out and contact. And most people have been introduced to this either through a Facebook link or through a Facebook sharing. So it's definitely, and we obviously, we need them when they sign up or when they do you know, attach themselves to, to your business. We want to make sure they get welcomed into the Facebook groups because that's really where the, the ball starts rolling. I'm uh, I'm pretty illiterate on Facebook so far. I've got a, I think you and uh, just family is all I've got as far as lead or uh, contacts. Yeah, it's, it's a matter of, I mean, your family and your contacts are going to stay your family and contacts. I and mean, we're really, 
making sure we've got a home for the people you're going to be reaching out to and the new people that your traffic and Facebook leads create you know, new relationships. <clears throat> and uh, continue on to your campaign, please. All right. All right. So you get those filled in. Now, where you're trying to get to is over here under the message. Let me go back. I was seeing about the Facebook. Hey, where am I going? All right. Let's start back over right at the resellers tab in the middle. <clears throat> and then on down on the left side to lead capture system. Okay. Message. <clears throat> and this is where you'll be able to see your follow-up sequences by campaign. It's very important to kind of know that these are the different campaigns that are available to you through the different promotional links. <clears throat> and that shows you the messages that are going to be going out as part of that campaign. How many messages do you see for your amazing campaign? It looks like five. Is okay. that what you're? Is that what you're asking me? Yep, exactly. What went out? And do you? Can you tell me? If you, you know now yet what these numbers mean over here? Um, the numbers under send after. Where's the that? Right after the subject first column says send after. There's usually a zero or one or a two or a three. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, zero. The first one is zeros. The second one is one and then a bunch of zeros. Third one is two and a bunch of zeros. Three and four. Okay, so let me tell you what is happening. So when you see a zero right here, this means that this message is going out immediately. It's going out the second somebody signs up. So they clicked on your link and that little email you posted, you gave them a promo link, they clicked on it, and they entered their information. This one's going out. The first one, the yep. subscriber first name. Congratulations on joining the team. There you go. And now, the next one down is gonna go one, two, or three, these are days after the message that just went out. Okay. And and that's so one of the things that you know I, I just I don't like to leave a lot of time in between. I mean, especially when people are new and they're they're getting involved and I'm I'm looking for advice here as well, Brian, Gregory, Donalyn. But I feel that my my results turned up when I started you know, I had threes and fours in here too, and I only had five messages, but I, I, I'm getting them every day, and I'm, I'm hitting them for a week. Right. Um, I, th I think you and I wrote up one, didn't we? Yep. And put it in there? Yep. And, and so that's, but I think you probably want to, you know, you don't, I don't know if I would want three days to lapse between my messages, you know, in the first week. I just... I don't know. I think people, if, if you start putting yourself in the mindset of the people that have taken interest, right, they, they just right. opened the door to Pandora's box, and here they are being inundated by a bunch of information that is what? Completely Greek to them. Right. So, in a lot of cases, I have changed some of my messages in, or, in order to try to slowly introduce them to the different concepts and the startup video and sharing, you know, those steps so that in a week's time, if they've decided to use my emails as a conduit to take action, then it's still in somewhat of a bite-sizable, you know, palatable exercise as opposed to just all at once dumping. I, I say that now, but I've had more success since Gregory started posting the startup campaign under people's welcome to our team. So half a dozen one, half a dozen the other. I'm still feeling this out. I think everybody will agree. We're going to keep honing the process and keep tweaking our messages until, you know, we feel we're communicating with as many people as will listen. 
Excellent. A very good point there, Eric. I just sent you a, a specialized graphic. Go ahead and pull that up. So uh, what Eric is talking about is editing the send after column. Uh, instead of some, some of the campaign show up as zero, one, two, three, four, and we're suggesting you changing those to zero, one, 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 one. Therefore, those will pop up and be sent every day. Uh, therefore, your your prospects will get a message from you more often every day, in addition to your direct email and in addition to uh, your broadcast. Those in the lead capture system, by, by changing that column, to ones, you're making sure that that preload campaign goes out every day to your prospect. So how do I, how do I change it to one? Uh, I got this. <clears throat> that, oh, look, never mind. I'm looking at the scent. So, yeah, Eric can walk you through it. Yeah, go ahead and walk you through that, please, Eric. Yeah. So what you do is, if you can see the screen here, on the on the right side under actions, mm -hmm. you're basically going to have an edit button, which is, is the button you're going to choose to, to hit to change anything, right? And so that, that will open up that door. Let's do it. It will essentially open up that message, and here's your send after. So you can quickly change that, come back down, and put it right back in all. Um, the, the plus sign, this is kind of just a, just a quick reference because I had to fumble my way through this. I don't want you to have to do that. Too. But when you hit the plus button here, <clears throat> this plus button is adding a message directly to follow this message. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, because it is going to stuff this message between these two. Okay. If you, if you come over here and you hit add follow-up, it is going to add it to the end. The same as clicking this button right here. Where? So this button, if, at the last message, if you were to hit this button, it is exactly the same thing as hitting this button and adding a follow-up. Okay. Ooh. The only reason, the only reason why I'm saying it, is because <clears throat> if you were to want to decide, hey, you know, I, I need a message right in between these two, you can hit this one, and it'll drop that message in between them. Okay. Food for thought. <clears throat> so, are you are you marking these? Emails that are uh, with the subject, or is it? Are you just copy and pasting what you had, or is that what you do? Uh, I I actually got involved before those emails were populated for everyone, so I created mine and have been tweaking them ever since. Okay. I know a lot has changed on the marketing side of this, and, and a lot of the, the done for you development that has that has been ongoing. It, you know, it runs deep in those messages. Let's, you know, I I don't know, Gregory. I probably wouldn't change them too much, I mean, except for maybe our own personality and our own little twist of words, right? Exactly right. So uh, after you uh, learn the system a little bit, folks, after you become more familiar and at ease with uh, editing emails, you can certainly go in and edit. You can add uh, a footer or a header graphics image. You can add more custom text. You can insert links. You can add a link to the image. I mean, there's a whole ton of stuff you can do to it. It's a really flexible editor. Um, but, you know, these emails are, are tested. And wow. the ones we have generally do very well. What you want to do over time is personalize. You want to tweak the subject lines. As you learn more, you'll insert your own. Uh, but you know the way the system is set up for us now, it's highly refined. All we need to do for new people, you know, people starting VIP or platinum, one, two, three, set up. Come in, set up the lead capture system, and uh, get your traffic going. And you can really start within minutes of being involved with the program. You know, uh, from that point, as you go on, you, it's 
your option, your choice. If you want to learn more about email marketing, we have some excellent courses in the Now Lifestyle University. There's a lot of free information available up on YouTube. There's a lot of free information available from uh, people in our community. Uh, it's entirely up to you, you know, if you want to do it or not. But the key point is that it is already set up for you. We have a starting point available for you and for your teammates. That is hugely powerful. Cool. There's definitely a lot of great information inside of the NLS University. So where is my blueprint? Ah, great question. Here you go. All right, there. <laughs> so if you go to your NLS University tab. Hang on, let me go back. Okay, now where'd you go? To up in the right corner, click NLS University. Okay. It'll, it'll probably show up on the, the NLS professional page first, but up next to it is the local marketing blueprint. It says I have to upgrade. And it told me that I would get the blueprint when I bought my. Right. 50 leads. How's that work, Gregory? Sure. Uh, yes, the, the local blueprint is available free for uh, individuals now. If you go in to the Facebook leads and if you purchase 50 or more Facebook leads, uh, it will show up in your back office. Uh, you may need to log out, log back in to, to uh, have access to it, but it should be available to you if you've made 50 or more. Uh, Leads purchase at one time it should be available to you. If not, you certainly file a ticket. Uh, it is I'm, a, I'm actually, I'm actually getting two emails because mm -hmm. I think I signed up for the. I can't remember the nine dollar deal, nine ninety nine deal, and then I think I signed up for the, the twenty seven or twenty four month or. I don't know exactly what I've signed up under, but I think I'm in there twice. So I'm getting du duplicate emails. Okay. Do you have a uh, product? But you just have one account. Is that correct, Jerry? As far as I know, I only have one account. All right. Uh, Eric, uh, in your back office, does he show as a platinum or in your tree, does he show as a platinum or a VIP? That way we might even on your tree. <laughs> And Eric's looking that up for us. Yeah, I'm resetting my body. What's the AR Flash special? Autoresponder? That is the Flash special. That is uh, rarely made available. It's email that comes out to people who have not signed up but have been in the system for a period of time. It's a discounted platinum. So you should, uh, um, uh, if you have purchased 50 leads recently this week, Jerry, you should be able to access the blueprint. No, it's, it was, it's been a couple of weeks. All right, but you did purchase 50 or more leads, is that correct? Yeah, I purchased 50. Okay, yeah, go ahead and file a support ticket. Say that you made the purchase, and then they, they can look that up and follow up on your behalf. Okay. Yeah, and, and that is definitely a document that needs to be gone through. And there's some serious like, good information inside of that. Excellent. Yeah, that, that does bring up a point. It's something that uh, uh, we've been talking about in leadership, Jerry, and everyone involved on the call and everyone listening on the recording, is that we are moving more and more towards uh, working in the local market with our nutrition products and our soon-to-be-released uh, resistance bands. We have physical products so people can, you know, in particular, if you're used to uh, traditional belly-to-belly -belly marketing, or if you're uh, 
very social person or if you like having home parties, you can take the physical product to your market or you can have home parties. And uh, the home local blueprint discusses that entire uh, aspect of marketing. We're heading that direction. Uh, you know, you can have an online business and you can do 50, $100 million a year. But if you want to be a billion dollar year company, you got to have physical products and go to the marketplace. So that's our direction. Uh, there'll be a, a strong focus at our convention. We'll have additional nutrition products coming out. Again, we have the fitness bands coming out and some other unannounced goodies to be revealed as well. Is that your, way, is that your way of saying we got to be there to get them? Uh, maybe. <laughs> no, I have honestly, I have no idea what's in the goodie bag, but there, if you do go to the ticket page, uh, Eric, can you go to the ticket page, please? I can. It's to your right, way over there, that little teeny thing. The other right. That's not it? There you go. So the schedule is announced. If you do read the schedule, folks, you'll see that there's a number of products being announced. You just got to scroll down to schedule. And anyone can take a look at that, as well as I did post it to our team page. If you can hit the event, by the way, folks, tickets are still available, but they should close out tickets really soon because they need a final headcount, take care of all the logistics that goes on for a convention. It'll be a lot of fun. I'll be there myself. I know Brian will be there. Donlin will be there. There's dozens of people from our team that will be there. It'll be really exciting. And again, we'll have new goodies announced. So uh, that can help drive sales, expand our reach, expand our market. Awesome. I am trying to get the schedule worked out. <clears throat> cool. I'm hungry. All right. So scroll down a little bit more to the exact schedule. Keep going. Oh. A little bit more. That one? Yep, keep going. <clears throat> there you go. Day three. Day one, day two, day three. If you take a look at those pictures, a lot of it's about awards. It's about the vision of the company. A lot of it is about achievement. <clears throat> Very cool stuff. Very nice. <clears throat> All right. Does anybody have any questions or need us to address anything that's challenging you along the setup process? So I'm getting uh, emails every day from, uh, not every day, but almost every day. Yeah, you're getting them every day. <laughs> from, well, I'm getting them from Joe, but I mean, I'm getting them from Richard and John, mm -hmm. are they, am I in their downline? Is that why? From uh, Richard and John? Uh, yeah. you, may, you may have signed up for their uh, personal emails. Um, you will also get emails in regards to their um, uh, Wednesday evening uh, training from Joel. But primarily, uh, you should be getting stuff from Joel, and Joel does email a lot, no doubt about it. Oh, well, I definitely get two a day, minimum. Awesome. <laughs> that, that's on the baby side. I think uh, I get like seven or ten. Right. Oh, fish. Eric, Eric's smiling. He gets a bunch, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I, I went through a phase where I had, I had unsubscribed <clears> some of them, but at the end of the day, there's a lot of content and there's a lot of, you know, leverageable ad copy as well as you're not going to miss out on anything if you actually pay attention to the subjects and, and you know, because you'll notice when something different pops up that Joel's sending and, and those are the ones you don't want to miss. So, Yeah, like get off your butt and get to work. That's a good one. 
but yeah, I mean, uh, Eric is right. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, Joel is a master at writing email, email copy, and subject line. So they're all good examples of things you can incorporate into your own emails, Jerry. It's good stuff. Um, not everyone opens every email. I mean, I literally have millions of unopened email in my email account, millions. And instead of going through them all, <clears throat> I've made my inbox larger. You know, Google appreciates my extra payment every month just because there's so much stuff in there. But, you know, with your email client, you can set up filters and some uh, email clients allow you to set up color folders and tags and everything. So you can have your email sorted for you. And you may find that beneficial if you have not done so. How much is that service costing you? Oh, it's like $2.99. That's why I was asking. A lot of times people assume these things are very expensive. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. You get extra uh, um, storage with Google for your email. <laughs> So I know we've been online now for an hour. We're probably reaching the seat of our pants comfort zone. So I don't know if anybody has anything else to go, but I uh, definitely would love to answer any questions. Carlin, you got anything for us? Can't hear. Uh oh. Well, I'd like to think that's because I don't speak very loudly. No, her. I can hear you just fine. Yeah, yeah, Charlon. Uh, it appears we have a, a, a not the best connection. If you have any questions, certainly. Uh, this e is really low. Er Eric will certainly be able to address them via email or chat. If you have any that you can't get into the uh, the conversation today. Yeah, Charlene knows. Hopefully you know, Charlene. I'm here for you. Just reach out. Awesome. Cool. Hey, there's a, Eric, there's a question in chat from Jamie Stewart. Excellent. How come, I, it is not showing up for me, and I don't know why. I can't even type in my chat box right now. I've been trying. Okay. I'll read it from Jamie. Oh, it popped up. It, it popped, popped up. There you go. Okay, go ahead. I need to know if I'm doing this right. Don't feel good continuing without a team. So, Jamie, I know I saw your post. Thank you so much for joining us. <clears throat> You're talking to your team. So, this is really, it truly is your business. The team that, that you are referring to, I'm assuming, is for support. Questions, answers, bouncing ideas off of, and and even getting on the phone with or messaging and texting, whatever you need. You can have my contact information. I will not hold back from you. I will reach out to you on Facebook as well. As far as we're concerned, you're welcome to join right in and be a part of our team. You're, you're going to pick up the same information, and you're going to end up growing your own team as you go, and that's what matters most. Excellent. Well said, Eric. Yeah, just, just to reinforce that comment, um, you know, I've been involved with a very long time with Now Lifestyle. I do not have a sponsor. I have learned everything on my own. I have no one to hold my hand, you know, and I've gotten zero spillover. Everything that has happened with the team, with our team, is from taking action, bringing on new like-minded people. Again, you know, I started with no list, 99% of everyone involved, brand new, Eric. Did not know Eric before Now Lifestyle. He's a dude. Don Lynn did not know Don Lynn before Now Lifestyle. She's amazing. Brian, you know Brian before Now Lifestyle. Amazing job. Lots of amazing people out there on the internet, around the world, folks. All you need to do is take action to find them. That's it. That is very well said. And, you know, I'll add into that. You know, I, I used to beat myself up for the number of people. And let's face it, it's a majority. That, that wouldn't answer, wouldn't respond, wouldn't communicate. They're not the right people, so don't worry about it. <laughs> my two cents. 
<laughs> that's right. That's right. And you know, uh, with the power of the tools we have available, yeah. If, if people don't get back to you, timing's wrong. Not the right person. You just move on. There, there's only so much time you have available on this earth. You know, take advantage of it. Put it to work for you. Make it count. Make it count, people. And you're going to find out, you know, it, it's an adage you hear a lot, but you really can't say the wrong things to the right people, and you can't say the right things to the wrong people. So, you know, it's just, it is what it is. And they're either going to jump on board or they're not, because what we have is, is truly benefiting people, whether it's the products or the business, and let it ride. Excellent. Well said again. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Been online for a period of time. Uh, I'd just like to thank Eric uh, for hosting today. We're trying to make this more of a regular thing. This is the best time of year to build your business. People are more focused, more excited. Uh, summer has gone past. It is autumn and fall. People are looking forward to holidays. People want to earn extra money. People are looking for a home. All you need to do is reach out and share now a lifestyle with them. That's all you have to do. So I'd like to thank everyone again for participating. We are recording this. We'll make it available on our team page. I definitely recommend you all check our team page at least twice a day. We post every day. We share information to make your business more simple, more easy to do. Motivation, uh, sometimes a little tough love, but, you know, sometimes we all need to kick in the pants. So can you send me a link? Which link you want? The the meeting. Well, I mean the the one that he just said. Sure. Yeah. We'll make it that I need to check. That I need to check twice a day. Oh yeah. Send, send the uh, uh, group page address to him, please, Eric. Will you? Yeah. yeah. I'll make sure that he's added as well, and make sure that that's working properly. Are you talking on Facebook? Yeah. Well, I sent a request to get on Facebook but I didn't, or I, I haven't seen a reply. Okay. I know, like, I, I added you to the groups he's referring to. As long as, I'll double-check everything, but you should end up getting notifications through Facebook when new posts and new updates are made. So it should be very interactive. If it's not, it's because it's not set up right, and I messed up, so I'll go fix it. Well, um, or the guy that is behind the, keyboard here doesn't know what he's doing i would never go there <laughs> i really don't know what i'm doing i mean i'm lucky i have a facebook account i guess awesome hey jerry we all start somewhere don't worry because right. you know it, it, point is having vision and seeing the opportunity and and having the desire to share it with other people that is the key point right Yep, and I'm going to give a shout out to Randy Squirrel and Marika Waring because they are both in the same boat. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, they haven't been very well experienced in the Facebook. They're still going to be used to this, but you know what? People are seeing better ways of, of leveraging their time to, to, to earn some extra income online. And the education they're in is, you know, we're happy to share, we're happy to help. And what we actually need to know in order to keep things rolling is very little and you learn as you go great well i'm excited awesome awesome perfect thank you so much everybody for allowing me to interrupt your saturday thank you very much all thank right. you guys. All right. have a good one all all right. Right. nice to meet all y'all bye everyone See ya. okay how do i get <laughs> <laughs>